hello students let's move on to the next topic that is uh, inverse uh, transformation so inverse transformation which stands for negative or reverse transformation so far what we have discussed is the <coughs> of translation rotation and scaling now we are going to speak about inverse translation inverse rotation and inverse scaling okay in uh, reverse direction translation in reverse direction similarly rotation in reverse direction as well as scaling in reverse direction so reverse direction we, what exactly the meaning is for uh, earlier for translation recall we have added the constant value right we have added the constant value to move the object from one place to another place we call it as displacement vector value isn't it for x as well as y now the thing is inverse inverse way or a reverse procedure for addition what is the inverse position uh, procedure for addition it should be subtraction isn't it so we are going to instead of add we are going to subtract the constant value from from x as well as y okay so earlier x plus tx was the formula to find the x dash now we are uh, doing the addition in reverse way that is we are doing subtraction x in addition with minus tx we are doing that is x minus tx and y in addition with minus ty okay in y coordinate negative y coordinate towards negative x and y we are taking the object that's it very simple thing okay from positive axis side to negative axis side we are taking it the transformation so obviously you need to just think okay in positive x x y plane uh, if you want to move the points from 10 10 to 20 20 you have to add the offset value isn't it that offset value you have to add that is uh, plus 10 and plus 10 in the same way similarly you can in third quadrant what will happen both uh, x as well as y are negative isn't it if you want to move the point from first plane to the third plane in coordinate system obviously you have to take the negative values only please think over it that's what we are doing to perform all the types of inverse transformation let us begin with the inverse translation directly i'll consider the inverse translation matrix that's it very simple concept you just recall the translation matrix earlier how it is written t we have written it as so coefficient values of x just now we discussed about it isn't it right observe here what is this is the value of t so what is the value of t just check this is t isn't it 1 0 tx 0 1 ty and 0 0 1 in place of tx you are supposed to write minus tx now in place of ty you are supposed to write minus ty because you are speaking about the inverse translation just check any other difference is there no the third parameter will remain one okay that is the constant value that remains one throughout don't think that it is the constant value okay oh sorry uh, don't think it is the you are going to subtract the third parameter as well so it is constant uh, multiplying factor for the parallel plane so it remains throughout as one only mm. then similar to that rotation how to write the inverse rotation r of theta so rotation matrix just check the rotation matrix oh, here i will be highlighting that okay oh, fine this is what rotation matrix r of theta cos theta minus sin theta and zero sin theta cos theta and zero 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 and one now you are rotating you are considering the inverse angle inverse angle in the sense you have to take the negative value for theta recall what is cos of minus theta what is cos of minus theta and what is sine of minus theta so as per the trigonometric property that is uh, uh, cos of minus theta is uh, cos theta and sine of minus theta is minus sine theta okay cos of minus theta is cos theta sine of minus theta is minus sine theta so apply that property and uh, substitute the value over here in place of theta you are supposed to substitute minus theta okay in the matrix so in the what is the matrix we have in i'll just uh, uh, write it down for your uh, reference purpose so cos of uh, in place of cos of theta contents of the matrix so first is uh, cos theta cos of minus theta you are sup supposed to consider second parameter is second parameter is already minus we have uh, outside minus sine of minus theta and third parameter is zero isn't it then second row it is sin theta sine of minus theta you need to consider and cos of cos theta that is cos of minus theta and zero third parameter will be zero zero and one this is what the matrix contain isn't it concentrate here 
now what is cos of minus theta cos of minus theta apply the property cos of minus theta is cos theta isn't it so cos of minus theta should be cos theta check the updated value inverse rotation first parameter is cos theta check what is second the second parameter you are getting minus is there outside right minus the sign of minus theta what is the output of sign of minus theta sign of minus theta will be minus sin theta only so this will become minus of minus sin theta isn't it minus of minus sin observe here what is the answer minus of minus you will get positive right this will become positive that is plus sin theta as you can see over here check i'm pointing it okay plus sin theta third parameter is zero only as it is then we have uh, sin of minus theta second row content concentrate here check the pointer sin of minus theta is minus sin theta so first parameter should be minus sin theta uh, check here check the pointer okay then yeah minus sin theta then cos of minus theta will be having cos theta and zero third parameter remains as it is zero zero and one very simple concept this is what inverse rotation so briefly uh, i'll explain about rotation you have to instead of uh, <coughs> yeah, inverse means uh, you you are performing the same operation in the negative direction okay instead of uh, uh, considering theta you have to so you are supposed to consider minus theta then apply the geometric uh, oh, sorry trigon trigonometric properties for cos cosine as well as sine cosine of uh, minus theta you will get cos theta only sine of minus theta you will be getting minus sine minus sine theta isn't it fine uh, we'll go for the scaling for scaling that is inverse scaling uh, it is very important that we have to consider the reciprocals for especially for the scaling for uh, enlarging the size uh, you are uh, multiplying for re uh, reducing the size you have to divide because uh, earlier we have discussed uh, at the beginning of the video right uh, so so contradiction of the addition is subtraction the reverse way of uh, addition will be subtraction only then for multiplication contradiction or reverse way or inverse way should be division only isn't it that's why you have to consider the reciprocal values so earlier it was 1 into sx okay uh, you check the <coughs> values which i am pointing for uh, scaling matrix check here for scaling matrix mm, let me highlight it yeah this is what scaling have scaling matrix is uh, so s x which is nothing but 1 into x 1 into s x now multiplication should be the inverse way of multiplication what is the inverse way it is a division only 1 divided by you have to take s x isn't it observe here now what is written 1 divided by s x right similarly for y this position earlier it was 1 into s y read it as instead of s y just just think you will come to know 1 into s y take the reciprocal write 1 divided by s y third parameter remains same that is all about the inverse transformation how to write the matrices for inverse transformation so translation matrix for inverse uh, transformation or inverse translation matrix inverse rotation matrix as well as inverse scaling matrix one of the repeatedly asked question so please make a note of it okay practice the things uh, this if you, if you understand the concepts the next concepts will be very easy for you thank you for watching if you have any difficulty you ask